Well, good morning, everybody. Hope everyone is having a wonderful day so far. Uh, we are fixing to get some storms here, so I'm going to come out and uh, do a little video. I wanted to address some of the comments and questions we have been getting. So, what happened to the two little baby goats? Um, you guys remember the video? The mama had all the flies bothering her. Her udders were so big, the babies couldn't hardly eat from her. Why did we do this? Why didn't we do that? So, I'm going to answer some of those questions today. So, the first thing I want to kind of um, address is the question is, why did you not grab those babies and bottle feed them? They were obviously starving. They haven't eaten. You know, um, they couldn't eat from the mama. They were really hungry and you didn't grab them and just start feeding them. So, just a little update. If you guys are new to the channel, there's Cora, our, one of our Anatolian pups that guards these goats over here. A little backstory on Rachel and I. We've been raising goats for 15, 16 years now. And one of the number one things we learned is don't mess with newborn babies until you absolutely have to. Now, first time farmers, people that are just getting into goats. I, I see you, baby girl. A lot of people are just quick to say, oh, there's baby goats, I'm gonna go help the mama. Uh, more times than none, if you do that, you're going to make that mama not want to have anything to do with those newborn baby goats. Oh, here comes the big man. Here comes Leesky man. Here comes some of the goats. Things are fixing to get exciting. Hey, Lise. Hey, Cora. All right. Let me love on you guys for a minute so I can uh, get on with my story and the video here. Got to address a bunch of questions. All right, they're gonna knock me over a little bit. So speaking of the newborn babies, people wanna know, are the babies still alive? How are they doing? How'd they turn out? Are they gone? Well, they're still here. And they're actually right here with the mama. I'm not gonna get too close to them. I'm gonna stay back a little bit. Mama's sitting there eating her uh, dinner. The babies are right there. They're doing they're doing great. Got a great mama. So, here's them pups. All right. So, next question is um, I think we got number one question addressed. Why didn't you grab those babies and start bottle feeding them? Um, let me let me kind of touch on that a little more. Let me back up a little bit. So in our experience of raising these goats guys if you do Grab those baby goats and um, you just start bottle feeding them colostrum um, Some of the milk stuff like that the powder stuff that you can buy at your big box stores It's probably highly It's probably 95 percent chance that that mama will not take that baby once that milk goes through that baby system one of the ways these mama goats knows that the babies are theirs um, is by scent. So have you ever seen a goat farm? Right now we got 35 mama goats. Let's say all these mama goats have babies at the same time. And if they all have twins, that's 70 babies. And say they're all in this barn right here. If you got 70 baby goats, could you imagine how complicated it would would be being a mama trying to keep up which one's my baby which one's my baby because if you ever see these mama goats they do not want any other babies nursing off of them except their own kids so one way that they know which kid is theirs is the kid will come up to them and it'll start trying to suck and the mama will just sniff their ears and they know immediately yeah that's my kid this one just did it and I didn't catch it on camera. We'll, we'll watch it for a minute and see if she does it again, but she already checked it and made sure it was hers. Sometimes they'll sniff on them and sometimes they'll lick on them. Look, she's checking. She's like, I'm making sure that's my kid because I don't want any other of these baby goats to suck off of me and drink my milk. So that's how that works. So if you get the, uh, if you get the, the powder stuff and you mix up your own, um, milk and you start feeding these babies that mama's not more than likely not going to take that baby and then you're gonna have a bottle baby to raise up this video is brought to you by fabric parents 
school is out, summer is here, the kids are out of school, they're ready to do all those fun activities and adventures. And I know the last thing you wanna worry about is life insurance. But Fabric has incredible life insurance policies that can be customized to your family and you can be up and running in just 10 minutes. Apply online in less than 10 minutes, see your quote, and then personalize your quote to fit your family's needs. You could be offered coverage instantly with no health exam required. Fabric also has over 1,600 five-star reviews on Trustpilot.com and it's fully backed by Vantus Life, one of the most trusted names in life insurance since 1847. So you can feel confident that you're getting a high quality policy that is perfect for your family. Fabric has a 30 day money back guarantee and you can cancel at any time. Protect your family's financial future with Fabric. Apply today in just 10 minutes at meetfabric.com forward slash Hidden Heights Farm. That's meetfabric.com forward slash Hidden Heights Farm. M-E-E-T fabric.com forward slash Hidden Heights Farm. Now I'm not saying you should never step in and bottle bottle raise babies it's just from us doing this for so many years we kind of learn when to step in and when not to um, at that point in the video when I walked out there and those babies were trying to nurse and they weren't nursing they were only probably about three to four hours old and once we got them in the barn got the mama sprayed it's probably five six hours and then they were nursing now if the baby does not get the colostrum from the mama within the first 24 hours they stand a very uh, slight chance of making it as well they're going to start getting really weak and then they're not going to be able to nurse on their own they're going to have problems and everybody knows there's no milk better or colostrum milk better than their own mother's milk no matter what species you are your own mother's milk is the best because it passes on all kinds of awesome stuff and it helps build their immunity up and um, it's just the best you can get now there is you know scientifically mixed powders and stuff out there now that does do well and it does keep uh, baby animals alive and it gives them a little bit of immunity and stuff like that but nothing replaces a mother's milk so that is why we didn't just grab those babies and start feeding them we had faith in the mama um, over the years of raising these goats guys We've, we've collected groups of goats. We went down, started out with a group of these um, DNA registered Spanish goats. That's mostly the black ones. And uh, we did a lot of research on them. We wanted really good moms. And they're some of the best mothers. In fact, the whole reason we had all these goats on the small pasture is because a couple of these Spanish mamas had babies here just a couple of weeks ago. And every time the babies would be out here, the mama she would take them out and hide them in the brush because these Spanish mamas are such good mamas. They're almost like you can uh, kind of think of them like a white tail deer mom. They'll go out in the brushiest place or the highest grass and have their babies and they'll just make them lay there. And uh, if you're ever walking through a field or something and you get spooked up by a, uh, a mama deer, what do those babies do? They will just lay there. They're taught to just lay there and play dead pretty much. And, Hopefully the predator or whatever spots them won't see them and just keep going and the mama will run off and kind of uh, Get the attention of whatever jumped her up and then the babies are good. She'll come back later on So these Spanish goats are pretty much the same way They'll go out in the brush have their babies and say hey stay here. I'm gonna go eat Do my thing get some milk going. I'll be back to feed you in a little bit So uh, you guys have been seeing the coyote videos and stuff we've been doing the coyotes are all around every night they do not come on our property because the dogs will absolutely rip them to shreds if they come on this side of the fence our dogs can't get on the outside which is the way we train them so we don't want to leave the uh, babies out we uh we have been locking them up every night in the barn that way to ensure the mamas and the babies are in the barn the dogs are still puppies Cora is still a puppy leesky's a big big dude but he's still a puppy. He's still only 15, 16 months old. Cora is like four to five months old. We don't want them to have to fight the coyotes, you know. But uh, here now, I think I'm gonna start leaving the gate open. Um, Liski and Cora, she's meaner than a snake. Do not get me wrong. She's still very small, but she can uh, she can hold her own. She uh, sometimes when Liski and her are eating and stuff and playing, it is uh, quite quite amusing to watch them she uh she's got a fierce bark and she she can be pretty mean all right so the next question i'm trying to remember is um why didn't you have your goats already covered 
with something to keep the flies off of them. Well, guys, we normally do in the springtime. Um, number one thing we use is the Redmond garlic salt. And we leave that, let me walk in here and show you. We leave that out for them 24-7. Uh, any day of the year, they can come into the barn and they have full access to goat mineral. We mix in goat mineral, the Redmond goat mineral with the garlic salt so they get a little bit of both. Oh, I can smell it just walking in here. And what that does is they get the garlic in their system. It takes about two to three weeks. And once they get it in their system, the flies, the ticks, and all that stay off of them. But if you pay attention on that video, um, I kind of talked about it. Not every goat will eat the garlic salt. Um, some goats won't eat mineral at all, and you can't force them to eat it. They're either going to eat it or they're not. They know what their body needs. If they're lacking a, a mineral or a vitamin, their brain kind of tells them, hey, go get some of that. You know, it makes your body feel good. So, oh, there goes some deer running. Missed it. Way on the other side of the field. Those deer are really pretty right now. They're like a bright red. And then we got a, a mighty lion out here stalking the goats. What are you doing, Smeagol? Yeah. So, basically, that is, uh, you know, we didn't, we didn't have all the mamas treated. You guys seen the video Rachel and I did. Uh, we poured the ivermectin on them. We sprayed them with the permethrin. And now I'm looking and I do not see any flies bothering any of the goats. Most of the goats don't have a problem eating the garlic. Most of them love it. But you got one or two that just seems like they won't, you know, some of them won't touch it. But if you look, kind of pan around a little bit. This, this mama right here, she's got a lot of cashmere coming out. Once all that stuff comes out, she'll just be slick. Look, there's a deer right there. I don't know what it's doing. It might have a baby in here. That's not a goat. That's a deer. If Leesky seen it, he'd probably be chasing it. But look, I just seen her run by a while ago. So I don't know if she's got a baby or what she's got. Uh-oh. It's on now. So we don't we don't want the deer on this property. Oh, there goes Cora too. So you just seen Leesky chase it off. And to him that's a threat. Because he knows that deer don't belong. And uh, let me ask you this guys. Just by you uh, looking at that deer right here in the picture, you would have thought it was a goat. To me, I looked up there and I was like, why is that goat out there by itself? And then I realized that it was not a goat, it was a deer. And you see they're doing their job, that's awesome. So that's how smart Leesky is. Like I said, he is still a puppy. He's still a puppy, but he knew just by looking out there, once he seen that thing, he knew that wasn't a goat. Even to my eyes, it looked like one of our one of our tan beige looking goats out there, but no, it was a deer. And he knows that does not belong out here, so he did his job, chased it off, started barking. Cora, she's kind of laying back a little bit, but she's learning from Leesky, she's chasing them. A lot of times what these livestock guardian dogs do is they work in tandem, they work as a team. One will kind of stay back with the goats a little bit, make sure he don't need any backup, because what these coyotes do sometimes is they'll lure one of the one of the main dogs out chasing them and then the other pack will come back and attack your goats because the main dog is chasing the first one so anyways that's pretty cool we caught that on camera get to kind of explain how that works a little bit and then he's coming right back so that is a uh, awesome so i just said we don't want the deer on our property now don't get me wrong i love to deer hunt and and to eat venison and stuff but we're a goat farm and deer actually carry some very bad stuff for these um, goats and they can pass on diseases they can pass on some kind of worm I can't remember the name um, I'm trying to think they can pass on some kind of parasite that actually gets in these goats brains and um, I've seen some videos and stuff and what it does is it gets in these goats brains they can they can get it from the deer feces that drops on the ground and then with worms or whatever crawls up on a blade of grass and then if the goats eat it it gets in their body and it can actually be passed on to them it gets in their brain and what it will do is at first it will start making the goats just kind of uh dumb you might say and they'll just start walking around in circles in your pasture and stuff and they don't know what's going on they don't know how to eat they don't know how to drink it's some kind of a very bad parasite 
and other than that what those deer do just just like by running through that field right now that deer just came from the woods over here i guarantee you that thing was loaded with ticks and fleas and maybe even lice so what does that do we can treat our property and our barn and stuff with that when the goats go out and about they're going to get those external parasites or even internal parasites from those deer if that deer comes through puts droppings on the ground and then the parasites from the droppings get on the grass and then our goats eat it then they could get that brain worm so we don't want that either so it's good that our livestock gardening dogs chase the uh chase the uh deer off even the rabbits they don't they don't like any 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 wildlife uh birds which is very good because there's there is um black headed vultures i think is the proper name of them and the black headed vultures around here will actually come down here and we just seen them the other day and i didn't have my camera or nothing ready but Leesky scared them off rachel and i was out here and there was a couple of those black headed vultures over at the pond we don't know why but the black headed ones will actually uh the land whenever there's a little baby around or like a mama cow or mama goat is giving birth and they'll peck the eyes out of the little uh little harmless defenseless um babies and then the mamas can't really do nothing about them so we want the dogs to be sure to chase them off um, they used to not be in this area but in the last couple of years they've been all over the news where a lot of farmers and ranchers are having problems with them killing their baby calves and little goats and stuff so we definitely don't want the uh, dogs to be too used to birds although we want them to be trained with chickens and ducks so trying to do that with having that fine line there is not the easiest thing to do um, I'm trying to think some of the other questions we got one of the main questions that uh, surprised me that a lot of people didn't know is why we didn't grab those babies and just start feeding them and I know most of our subscribers that have been following us for a long time know some of the stuff we do but don't get me wrong every farm every farmer every YouTube channel everybody does things different guys and this is just the thing that we found that works for us is it's better if we don't just go up to a baby and grab it and start feeding it just because they're hungry um it takes away from nature it takes away from the uh, natural thing that would happen that mama don't want anything more than to raise those babies i promise you that now if that mama was headbutting those babies and and just walking away and leaving them and stuff like that then definitely there's time to step in but we waited we were patient um We've done it a long time i promise you it's not the easiest thing to do you want to help those babies so much but you know once you do they're not going to be able to be raised with their mom and i promise you raising bottle babies it's cute and all that but it's, it's not the funnest thing um, once you raise those babies more times than not you're gonna go ahead and just sell them off because they are very annoying they're like a little puppy that you can't ever get away from you can walk out here and what they're going to do is they're going to be jumping up on you all the time and stuff even after they're weaned because they're wanting that uh bottle they're so used to you coming out here and feeding them that it's just kind of annoying so any bottle baby we've ever raised we eventually gotten rid of because it's more of a nuisance than anything and the good thing about letting the mama raise them is if you let the mama raise them naturally they're going to grow up a lot faster than they have mama's milk they're going to be a lot more healthier they're going to have the immunities built up and it's just it's just a win-win you learning from mr. Leesky Leesky's still in training too but you you're doing awesome you both are you know that good job your collar is pretty your collar is pretty so guys out here um, you know we've been raising the goats over here because we had the babies the babies are a little bit older now so we're gonna start leaving this gate open we went ahead and let them out here two days ago and we didn't film it but I'm telling you they absolutely love it over here they have a smorgasbord buffet of food and I want to show you this right here is yellow hop and this is a uh, very very good I think it's a legume I'm pretty sure that's a legume the same as clover and it's very very nutritious for goats so is the clover uh, they got a lot of fescue out here they got Bermuda all over the place I mean they just have everything they could ever want and you can see it's just green as far as you can see but the number one thing that these goats want is right here all those leaves so when you let them out you let them out open that gate they come out here they head to the trees they don't want this grass uh the grass all this good stuff right here 
this is what cattle and sheep would be going after first goats are browsers they're not grazers so what they're going to do is they're going to go to all the trees get all the uh leaves that are hanging down get everything they can get because they want that roughage they want the rough stuff they want the, the blackberry vines they want the poison ivy vines the leaves they'll wipe out poison ivy in a day if there's any poison ivy out here it's like they can smell it and they will just go straight to it they'll eat it all up so there ain't no poison ivy on our property inside the goat pastures and uh blackberries we love uh, the native wild blackberries but can't hardly have any around here at the goat farm because they absolutely love them too but they absolutely love these goat these oak leaves watch this look come on who wants it <laughs> you tell me that that ain't like candy to a kid or something you like them nope anybody else want some here there you go They must taste really good to a goat. Tony got it. The dogs are like, oh, what are we missing out on here, Dad? I'd like to have some of them leaves. So I don't know what these are. Evidently, they don't like eating these because there's several of those. It's some kind of weed. But goats are made to eat uh, things like that. They, The thorns, you think the thorns on blackberry, the native blackberry bushes and stuff would hurt them. They don't at all. And I've seen uh, videos and stuff from some of these Spanish goats down in Texas and New Mexico, Arizona area where it's really dry. And the only thing they have to really eat there is mesquite trees and cactus. And those goats were just going to town on cactus. And you guys know cactus has all the thorns and splinters or whatever it is on them. I don't remember if they have thorns or splinters or what it is. They got some kind of little prickly things. I remember my grandma had some cactus here when I was a kid. We used to play baseball in our front yard and we dreaded when the baseball would go in there because somebody would have to go in there and it's like you almost always got those little spine things in your hands. So guys, that is just part of the answers to some of the questions I can remember. Um, I'm, I apologize, I didn't address that better. Um, I know a lot of people that don't understand or some of the people that hasn't watched this very, very long didn't understand our... Um, the way that we handled those baby goats um, we did what we thought was the best and you guys can see how it turned out we didn't lose any baby goats number one and number two the mama is now raising the baby goats the babies are healthy and they're gonna grow up and uh, I think they're both boys so they probably won't stay here on the farm they'll probably go be sold to meat market or as a breeder goat but still they're gonna grow a lot faster than if we had to come out here and bottle feed them I promise you i do not like bottle feeding baby goats it is a the job in its own so anyways we got the storm rolling in you guys can see so uh stay tuned for future videos and please subscribe if you have not subscribed to our channel we would uh, greatly appreciate it and uh, leave us a comment down below um do you agree with the way that we chose to handle those baby goats that was born with the mama that was having a hard time feeding them and if you didn't catch that video it's a few videos back and um you know it's always a stressful situation for the mama goat and stressful for us but i think we handled it the right way so anyways like this video leave us a comment and uh we'll see you on the next one what are you doing you saying bye all right see you later